Lane Wassinger is the head coach of the Rough Riders, assisted by Link Lanter, Darren Coretko, Kate Davis, and Chase Klein, Justin Gallus, Tom Craig, Michael Curtis, and Lee Oldenburg. Ty Davies, the head coach of the Mustangs, assisted by Josh Langford, Greg Edson, Jim Krekemeyer, Ian Moreno, Andy Schoen, TJ Schneider, Seth Wolf, Chris Cobley, Jeff Peterson, Eric Sherman, Kyle Grallis, Drew Davies, and Gary Davies opening kickoff. Brought to you by Ingmeyer Phillips Insurance. And Brush. Fort Morgan. Remember, one of their mottos in life, Brian, things happen in life. They're happening tonight. Yes, they are. Lots of little things coming down out of the sky. The Mustangs to kick it off. And again, with all this rain, we'll try to keep you on track of the players involved in this game for Roosevelt. We do know the key players. Quarterback Brig Hartson, if we expect him out there. And the running backs Nick Wall and Devin Sanchez combined for 800 yards. And on a very wet and rainy Friday night, the kickoff end over end backing up. It'll be dropped at the two, picked up right there. Straight ahead to the 10 across the ball. 15. The ball is loose, and the Mustangs have got it at the 22-yard line. Fort Morgan recovers the fumble. And I think Alex Ortega, well, I see a two, but maybe it's a two and a three instead of a two and a one, but the Mustangs have the ball at the 22-yard line of Roosevelt. That's the way this game starts. Yeah, they, uh, they've had nine fumbles so far. Or, uh, yeah, nine fumbles on the season. No, they had nine interceptions. They have six fumbles on the season and lost four. First and ten for the Mustangs at the 22-yard line. Again, it is raining as hard as it's been since we arrived just before 6 o'clock. And you would expect lots of running but, and a slippery football as well, Kevin. Right. Yeah, I can't imagine that football traveling through the air back to the receiver there that uh, it was very dry when it got to him. Out of the pistol, Isaac Linker, the senior quarterback, will hand it off to J.P. Hamer, and he's got a couple of yards as he dives to the 20-yard line before the tackle was made. It'll be second down and eight yards to go. In on the play was the freshman, Garrett Padgett, along with Caleb Templeman. Padgett, a former Fort Morgan kid that up here. Second down and eight for the 20. Yeah, very impressive starting as a freshman from the pistol. Linker turns, hands it off to Hamer, stutter steps, runs behind his tackle. He drives inside the 20, and then he's going to be swallowed up close to the 16-yard line. Tough to find the footing up there so far, Brian. You can see oh. even Hamer with all his shiftiness is struggling a bit himself. Yeah, it's going to be tough out there. It'll be worse as the night goes on. It's an official gain of three yards. Third down and five for the 17 in the opening minute of the game. Fort Morgan has recovered a fumble in the opening kickoff. That's happened two weeks in a row, in fact. On third and five for the 17, Linker hands it off to the outside is Hamer. He's got running room to the 15. He's tackled from behind at the 11. But it's a first down, a gain of six for J.P. Hamer as he drives towards the 10. They might give him that. Yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of what we've been looking for is get him outside, get that speed going. And obviously Roosevelt's going to be trying to take away that inside run where we make our bread and butter. Just inside the 11, Hamer's got three carries for 12 yards. Lining up with the left hash mark. Linker again from the shotgun formation. Will Hamer get it for a fourth consecutive time? And he will not. This is Linker driving right up the gut off the fake. And he is still not tackled, but he's down to seven. The gain of four for Linker. Second down. And we'll call it six yards to go. He didn't get a first one just inside the one. So these conditions, I... Nice four more he had a package in where Linker could go under center and we could give it off to a fullback a quick hitter. It's a place that take time to develop or get it more difficult. Without a doubt, second down. And six to go from the seven-yard line of Roosevelt. Linker again for the pistol, turns, hands it off to Hamer, stutter steps back to the middle to the five. He lowers his shoulder and he's still on his feet and he has not gone down and he drives it in. The ball is fumbled and it's recovered by Fort Morgan in the end zone, but they're going to call it dead. They're going to yeah. call it dead. It was recovered by an offensive lineman. But he's going to be called down at... They're going to back it up to the three. Yeah, back it up to the three. Third down and a long two. So Hamer on this drive. Continues to run well. He's got 17 yards by himself on this drive. Third and two from the three. 
Linker again for the pistol. And is that ball fumbled? Yeah, yeah it's loose. Linker never got it. And the ball is loose at the three-yard line. I didn't know if it was snapped to him because I never saw the ball hit his hands. And Roosevelt has recovered the ball right at the three-yard line. So both teams have committed turnovers, but Fort Morgan is very costly inside the Roosevelt five. Yeah, I don't know if he uh, just didn't get that up from the snap and just give him uh, the slip on the ground, apparently. But he never received the ball at all. He didn't receive the ball. And I wonder if it got stuck in the center's hand. Because did, he, I, uh, did, did it? Did you see it roll back there? I didn't see. I didn't even see the ball roll. Uh -uh. I think it actually slipped out of the center's hand, and it went up like towards his posterior. Right. Anyway, Greg Larson is the quarterback. First and ten. The ball's at the four, and there's the handoff on the left side, and swallowed up in the backfield. A loss of one. Let's see if that's either Sanchez or Wall, and that's going to be Nick Wall. Oh. It'll be no gain. It'll be actually, a loss of one. Second down and 11. 8.41 to go in the opening quarter. No score. Both teams already with a turnover, and that's not a surprise. Now, the rain has tapered off a bit, quite a bit. But it was pouring at kickoff. And Kevin is going to come and go throughout the night. You would think. Second down and 11 for the three. Under center is the quarterback, Parson. He turns, and he hands it off. There's a big hole across the five to the 10. To the secondary to about the 13 yard line. That's close to a first down. That would be a gain of 10. That is Kevin Sanchez that time. And the wall is combined for over 800 yards. This is the first down. Oh, the gain of 10 for Kevin Sanchez. First and 10 for the 13 yard line. Quick moving the first quarter, hopefully a quick moving game with the weather conditions. Maxson and I, here's the handoff to the up back, and driving his way across the 15 to the 18 yard line, because the Mustangs couldn't make the tackle on Sanchez. The gain of five, Jacob Ortega in on the play, but Isaac Linker made the initial contact. But again, a good game for Roosevelt, second down and five, and that's uh, the first play outside of that first play, fairly effective on the ground. But you made the key point that you could go under center, but that's not Fort Morgan's offense. You're out of the pistol. There's the wrist. Second and five, handoff. Left side, Nick Wall, and he's close to a first down, carrying bodies and falling with other bodies towards the 23 yard line as the play was made. Nick Morris around the football, as was Eddie the Priest and Isaac Linker. But it's a gain of five and another first down for Roosevelt. Their second of the drive that started just inside their own four yard line. Yeah, Fort Morgan's got to pick it up here a little bit. Roosevelt's coming out. First down and ten for the Rough Riders. At their own 23. Again, the backs in an eye. Two receivers put out to the left. There's the handoff on the right side and a gain of a yard, and that's about it for Devin Sanchez. There were a gang of Mustangs to beat him there, including Linker and Nick Norris. It'll be second down and nine to go. Really close to the 25, second and nine. Also around the football there for Fort Morgan with Devin Durkin. Down at nine, just shy of the 25. It's been run, run, run for both teams. And for the up back, a handoff right up the gut and a steady gain. Close to the 30, it's a gain of five for Sanchez. Boy, the hit is made by the middle of the Mustang defense. Now it's third down and about four to go, a long four. And on the middle of that action for the Mustangs was Jesus. Lobos. Just take a moment here and then see what happens in a funny game. This kind of weather. Five and a half to go in the opening quarter. Third and four for Roosevelt at the 30. There's a handoff to the deep back wall across the left side. He's going to be short. A gain of two and then driven back at the 32. And let me tell you, that was a form tackle over there. A big time form tackle by... Uh, and that was Kate Netson who drove it back 
along with another Mustang. Fourth down and two for the 32, and Roosevelt will have to punch inside of five minutes to go in the opening quarter. See if Morgan gets everybody off the field in front of him here. Try to clean up our signal and a heavy rush and it's nearly blocked end over end. And it bounces. Ortega picks it up at the 30. Along the sideline, he's down at the 34. Jacob Ortega down at the 34 yard line. Poor Morgan now needs to swap field position here. Run for a touchdown. Flip field, field position. Right. All right, first 10 for the Mustangs, and apologize if we have any technical issues with the weather. We're trying to clean up the signal as much as possible at the 34-yard line. Isaac Linker lining up on the right hash mark. As the rain has stopped, and hopefully that will clear up the transmission of our signal. Handoff on the left side to Hamer, cuts it back towards the middle. And he's down at the 37. It's a gain of three. Second down and seven. Three, Roosevelt five, fumbled the opening eight, kickoff. And then second, Fort Morgan got seven, it at the 23. Six, Picked up a first down. Then fumbled at the three, Roosevelt seven, three. And then after six, Fort Morgan allowed Roosevelt to get two first downs, the Mustangs have the ball back at the 37-yard line. Now on a second down. And eight to go for Fort Morgan. And already we are under four minutes to go in the opening quarter. And again, the rain has stopped, which is good news. From the pistol, Ortega's in motion to the right. Normally this is a pitch to him, but instead of handoff to Hayer, he's got a hole across the right side, crossing the 40 towards the 41, maybe the 42 before the hit is made. And it's a gain of about four. Third down and four to go for the Mustangs. Just gonna make sure that's a nice handoff in there. You gotta make sure that gets right in his gut. As wet as this gonna be. On third down and four to go for the 41. Two in the backfield. Linker back to throw, looking to his right. Underneath the pass is caught, but it was deflected to the receiver himself. And let's see who caught them along the sideline. That is Fajardo, maybe. Usually it's him yeah. on that side. Or was that Wood? I saw, 22. I thought, was it yeah. 22? That's what I saw. Malachi Yanez, a sophomore. He tipped it to himself, but it's short of a first down. It's a gain of close to three. Fourth down and one. The Mustangs will punt just shy of the 44 yard line. Frankie Ortega is the freshman punter. Let's see if that's him back there. Letting the play clock run down. And it's a high snap. It's dropped. Ortega's got to pick it up. Ortega's going to run out of it. Now he's going to boot the ball out of bounds into the Fort Morgan bench. That has continued to be an issue with Fort Morgan. Yep. They didn't have to punt last week. But high snaps and Brian really... I know the conditions are not ideal, but this was happening in dry weather early in the season. Yeah, they've had a they've had a problem with that snap, and and uh, it cost him now. Yeah, in dry weather, he might have been able to tip that, get it, and punt it because he's been had to do that several times. But it just slipped through his fingers and behind well, him. And you don't want the punter to stand further back. No. I mean, I'm sure the Mustangs practice that, and yes, they're going to have to do something, either make a change because now they lost a ton of field position. That pen, punt went for negative yardage, and it's not Ortega's fault. First and 10 at the 35, rolling out to his right as hearts and pressure. The throw underneath is caught. Close to a first down. That's Holden Davis at the 25-yard line. It's close to a gain of 10. And it's right at the stick. Here for Roosevelt, and they're going to move the sticks. First down, that's Roosevelt's third first down of the opening quarter here, Brian. And the Mustangs, with a couple of plays, have given them momentum, the fumble, and then the special teams error. Yeah, yeah, they've uh, they've got to pick it up here a little bit. Roosevelt's coming out 
thinking they can uh, they can pass now a little bit with the rain quit. First down and 10 at the 25. Handoff wall, stutter stepping, backing his way as he spins to the 21. It's a gain of four. Second down and six to go. Again, Isaac Linker. In on the hit for Fort Morgan. And also grabbing wall around the ankles was Miko Yanez. Second down. And six to go for Roosevelt at the Morgan 21. This time a give to Sanchez. He breaks it clear to the 10 to the 5. Touchdown. Sanchez broke two tackles and scored from 19 yards out. And Roosevelt is on the board. It's 6 to nothing with a minute 5 to go here in the opening quarter from Johnstown. Yeah, they didn't wrap up at all on that. He made a couple of spins in there to get himself free and got into the end zone. Yeah, right now it looks as though the Rough Riders wanted a little bit more than the Mustangs, and Fort Morgan's going to have to step it up and play some ball. Yeah. Well, again, this is a 1-4 in four team, but they don't have 1-4 in four talent, that's for sure. They're much better than that. And now the extra point to be attempted. Nick Wall will hold. Snap is perfect. And that kick is going to be good. We'll keep it right here with a minute five to go. And it's seven to nothing in favor of Roosevelt on Devin Sanchez's 19-yard run. Fort Morgan's going to come back and answer right away. Right. They don't want to. They don't want Roosevelt getting any more. Any more confidence since they already have. It's gone up quite a bit here just in this last five minutes. Well, you know what? That pass play. That pass play was a key. I think Morgan all of a sudden thought, wow, now we have to defend that. Right. Because I don't think they were expecting that on a first and ten, especially when they were running the football so well. And when we were sitting in the pickup, if you would have told me at near the end of the first quarter, uh, each team would be one and for one in passing. I wouldn't have believed you. <laughs> well, but there was a big difference in Morgan's pass because that that should have been a first down, but Yanez could not control the football initially, and then once he tipped it to himself and he caught it, then he was tackled short of the first down marker, and that makes a big difference. So now the Rough Riders to kick it off. See how they handle the... Oh, he stepped on the line. That's offsides. Yeah. yeah, it should have been offsides. This kickoff is high and short, and it's going to be fielded at the 25 and moving along the right side at the 40-yard line, back to the inside at the 45. Now knocked out of bounds along the far sideline. No, that couldn't have. Was that Linker on no, the return? Linker's no, that could, Linker's over here. here. Yeah. Yeah, that was not Linker on the return. Five, Unless it was... I think it was Hamer. Just looks like an eight. Right. Yeah. Nice field position. Yeah. That's what they needed. First and ten for the Mustangs. Yeah, that returned for about 20-some-odd yards. They have it at the 46, trailing 7-0. 55.7 seconds to go here in the opening quarter from Johnstown. Linker from the pistol, hands it off to Hamer, swings it along the left side, breaks the tackle to 45 to the 50. He's still on his feet as he stumbles into a defender and out of bounds across the 40 in a late hit. There's a fight. There's a fight on the outside of the sideline here, right in front of the Roosevelt bench. And now another flag is thrown. And that was a gain of about 15 yards for Hamer. Hamer delivered a punishing blow as they were going out of bounds. That was perfectly legal. And the other kid came back and gave him a shove. But I'm guessing that with two flags, it's probably going to turn out to be offsetting. Yeah, that second one was real late. I'm not sure if they were just digging for a flag or something else happened. I know Nick Norris came in there, but he was getting Hamer out of there. Right. Well, well Hamer went to the ground afterwards. Yeah, we'll see the official game. Yeah. Because he picked up, looks like he picked up 14 yards, but they might give him more. Well, Hamer had the situation two weeks ago when he took a late hit against Conifer right. 
and then he took exception to it, and they flagged him for that. Yeah, right. Okay, the gain is 15 to the 38, so Hamber's got, unofficially, hard to keep the numbers tonight with the inclement weather conditions, unofficially he's got 32 yards. And the preliminary indication is a personal foul. Fort Morgan and a personal foul against Roosevelt. So, Kevin, you're right. Offsetting penalties. Oh, oh and, and then one. another one against Roosevelt. So, they're going to walk that off 15 yards. That was that, that, was that late flag coming in. Right, probably when Hamer got thrown down to the ground after the initial pushing and shoving out of bounds. I guess anytime you have something like that out of bounds, you worry and you're, you're thankful that no one gets kicked out of the game and not be able to play the following game either. That is correct, because that is the penalty. I know Hamer's sitting on the sideline at the moment. Coach took him out, let him simmer down a little bit. Sophomore uh, Kale Langford in. First and ten for the Mustangs. They walk it off to the 20. So that would have given Hamer an 18-yard gain. So he's just keeping his numbers alone up to about 35 yards in the game. Probably probably a little bit more than that, close to 40. That official is uh, explaining now to Ty Davies what the call was, probably letting him know which Fort Morgan player has his first unsportsmanlike conduct. Because nope. if you get two, I think you get... Will they get booted? Booted out too now. Well, that's the only thing that's delaying the proceedings here in this quarter. Yeah. Roosevelt scored in a 19-yard run with a minute five to go in the opening quarter from Devin Sanchez. And now the Mustangs trying to respond. They had the ball at the three-yard line of Roosevelt after the Rough Riders fumbled the opening kickoff. But Fort Morgan could not capitalize as they turned it over. So see if Fort Morgan can take advantage of this field position now. First and 10 at the Roosevelt 20, second time of the opening quarter. They're in the red zone. From the pistol, the senior Isaac Linker, low snap, back to throw. He throws over the middle. The pass is going to be intercepted. I believe the caught. caught. Oh, wrestled away. Oh, he gave him the touchdown. He signaled the touchdown. Yeah. And then after they went to the ground, the Rough Rider wrestled it away from him, but too late. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And is that caught by number three? three. By three. Donovan yeah. Moya yeah. on the 20 yard slant. Yeah, that was poorly thrown. He could have let him a little bit more, and he Wait. would have caught it with a five-yard right. bumper, but he had to slow down for it, and the defender almost got it. Now the extra point to be attempted by Jose Jimenez on a 20-yard slant, but it it definitely looked like it was thrown behind him, and uh, we've got a whistle. I think they're, I think Roosevelt's offside. Yeah. Yep. Well, maybe Morgan <laughs> goes for two. But I'm not sure. I think they'll keep no. Jimenez out there. Offside, Roosevelt. Boy, initially I thought that was picked off. Yeah, I did too. He must yeah. reach in there and just grabbed it away from him. Right, and then luckily landed on it before he gave it back to him. Yeah. Because yeah. at the end of the play, the Rough Rider had it. An important extra point. High snap. That kick is up. And that's good. good. Again, we'll keep it right here. 41.9 seconds to go. Seconds to go. And the opening quarter. Fort Morgan Mustangs, seven. And we're deadlocked at seven. That was a nice drive, though, by the Mustang. Nice answer and drive to even this game up here. Right. So they've, they've, they've got to watch their uh, watch their temper here. I know they got to match intensity, but you don't want to be foolish about it. Well, uh, <laughs> I don't think this is a surprise that we're, no. we've we got a physical game here in Johnstown. Right. I think this, this is 100% expected based on the conversation that we had yes. with coach Ty Davies you know and Ruff, the uh, Roosevelt kids probably feel a personal challenge as they're sitting at this the season one and four they're probably told if they don't win all of their league games and they don't be eat um, eerie at the end they may not make the playoffs so this is a personal challenge to their manhood and they're responding like it is they're, they're fighting hard yeah and it is homecoming night as well. Now the kickoff by Jimenez. He boots that football high and deep and into the end zone. Nice job. No chance to return there. First down, Rough Riders. Well, but it's time to play some defense. That's, that was lacking at times. And they have a two-headed... Uh, rushing beast of an offense. They've put a lot of yards up. 
Yeah, they average 188 yards a game on the ground. And we can't forget that, you know, with their, I know the starting quarterback's out, but what were they, quarterfinalists, semi, semifinalists in state last year? They went deep into the playoffs, I think. Uh, I don't think they were that deep. I'm not sure they were that deep. First and 10 from the 20. With a backs and an eye. And there's the handoff to the up back, running to his right with a seam. A flag is down, and Devin Sanchez is down at the 26. But that six-yard gain is coming back. As Frankie, check that, Jacob Ortega made the hit. It's got to be a hold that allowed him. Yeah, I think, I, think, I think the initial hold was on, was on Jacob as he tried to come around that corner. He was grabbed. And that's hard when it's an inside run, and then he breaks to the outside that... The, the offensive lineman has a hard time blocking that. Yeah, when you're set to make that block and all of a sudden the guy turns to go and you're grabbing there. So. 20 yard touchdown pass to Donovan Moya brought to you by Cargill Meat Solutions working with the community to make sure there are jobs for members of the communities they're in. Cargill Meat Solutions from the tw- 10 first and 20 handoff. Right up the gut. That's a solid gain for Nick Wall to the 16. One, Nick Wall. It'll be second down, and we'll call it 14 to go. Pick up six. And they're finding some room in there. Second and or Roosevelt. That's the final play of the opening quarter. It's a one-minute break. The score from Johnstown, Fort Morgan 7. Roosevelt 7 on B106 and B106.com. John Beltran with Brian Nickel and Kevin Rohde. Let's begin the second quarter from Johnstown. The Mustangs and Rough Riders are deadlocked at 7. Second down and 14 for Roosevelt, their own 16-yard line. 19-yard touchdown run by Devin Sanchez of Roosevelt. A 20-yard pass from Linker to Moya. Just a few seconds later, under center. There's the give on the left side, Nick Wall. Dancing his way back to the 18-yard line after having no running room. Eight, Eddie DePriest and Isaac Linker made the hit. Third and 12 to go from the 18 for Roosevelt. In the second quarter, uh, Roosevelt has the wind behind them, which uh, might encourage them to pass a little bit more. Getting three, third and 13. Looking at the lights, we still have a drizzle. Yep. Yep. But it's not bad. It was really bad at kickoff. Tapered off quite a bit. Third down and 12 at the 18-yard line. Backs in an eye. This will be a handoff to the deep back and very little room to the 20. Gain of two there. And that time, I believe, I could, yeah, that was Wall. No, they're going to say it was Sanchez. Nick Norris in on the play once again for the Mustang defense. That was extremely conservative of Roosevelt. Well, again, uh, the wind is starting to kick up. I'm sure the football is not completely dry. Mustang should get great field position. A heavy rush, and it's nearly blocked, and they rough the punter. The ball is going to bounce. Ortega is going to let it bounce, and then he's going to be down at the 32. But they roughed him pretty badly there. That's going to be a first down. I don't think that's running into the punter. I think Roosevelt is going to retain possession and have that football close to the 35-yard line. But as Ortega gathered the football here, he was down on his knees, and a rough rider jumped on him like yeah, it after was his borderline. Right, but it, that that was that was a little bit of a side swipe there. That was what the Mustangs did there was obvious. Right, and that's an obvious mistake that re you know, refires up the Rough Riders and gives them first down, way out at the 35. Well, Brian, I don't know how that wasn't blocked. They had three Mustangs in there. Yeah, I don't know how it wasn't either. They had pressure. They had pressure on him on the first punt, but it looked like they had more pressure on him here. But it, he got it through there somehow. Yeah. Somebody was saying it was. I think Norris was saying he deflected it, but apparently wasn't picked up by the well, by the referee, well, and that's who counts. Right. Down, rough riders. If it was deflected, it wasn't obvious. That's no. for sure. Yes. First and ten for Roosevelt at their own 35, following the Fort Morgan special teams miscue. With the backs in an eye. Sanchez in front of Wall. This will be the handoff to Sanchez. He breaks the tackle at the line of scrimmage. He's got a man to beat along the left sideline at the 40. And then he's driven out of bounds at the 48. you got to watch out for Morgan. Boy, that could have been a late hit over there on Dylan Woods. He kept 
his uh, body on the running back, Sanchez, when he just should have let go. I think it caught a break. That could have been a personal foul there. It's a gain of 14 and a first down. Well, I think that's one of the uh, example of one of the rules that I'd like to see him change in football. That running back stuck his hand into his face mask, had a hold of his face mask, and shoved him away. And that almost makes it impossible for a defensive player to get in there and make a tackle. That's a great point. Two receivers to the right. First and ten for the 49. Handoff right up the gut and a yard, if even that, for Sanchez. Handoff number three to Gavin Sanchez. Yeah, got a yard out of it, but that was about it. Maybe about one second. And Tackle was made by Jacob Ortega. Second down and nine to go at midfield. Hoken it will also round the football for the Mustangs. Approaching the 10-minute mark of the second quarter. Roosevelt took the early lead. The Mustangs tied it on the 20-yard pass from Linker to Moya. Linker's fifth touchdown pass in the last game plus. Handoff to Nick Wall as he runs to the 47. Nothing fancy there with that footwork. He just found the hole in game three. And the Mustangs close that hole quickly. And Eddie DePriest, nope, check that. No, that was Nick Norris. Four, third and Made the hit, five. third Rough down, race. and we'll call it a long five for Roosevelt with nine and a half to go in the second quarter. We've got a lot of sophomores out there starting on defense, or at least playing at this particular rotation. We've got Edson in there, and Kale Langford, and Eddie DePriest started. Key Some, sequence here. Yep. Third down and five yards to go for Roosevelt. At the 47. And we got a flag. Yeah, delay of game. He was going to go into the gun. Oh, that's, that's not a, a good time for that. Yeah. I mean, it's a good time for us, but you know, as a coach for the... Kevin, is there ever a good time for that? Uh, you know, it's always a good time for a penalty on the other team. Good I point. Think. Good point. Just, just ask him. Yeah. Makes it back to a third and ten now. But definitely one of the most preventable penalties out there. Play yeah. the game, you can manage that well, so much better. Then the Mustangs have one last week off a change of possession. Yeah. You yeah. know, so it can happen to anybody, even as well as Fort Morgan was playing last week. Third and ten at their own 49 for Roosevelt. Clock continues to run from the pistol. There's that late handoff to Sanchez, breaks a tackle at the 50, and then he stumbles his way and is there driven is down at the Sanchez. 46. Tackle. For a gain of about five, James close to six, Hokenado. James Hokenado made the tackle. Fourth down and five. Now Roosevelt can play the field position game. I'm thinking they're going to line up and try and get Fort Morgan to jump, maybe. They're acting like they want to do it. Yeah, it's going to be fourth down and four. Four, four. They're just shy of the 45, and they've got to get a first down at about eh, just before the 41. So it's... It's really a fourth down and a long three, three and a half. Baxson and I, they're going for it. Taking the snap is Hartson, handing off to Sanchez, right side. He's short. Yep. He's at the 43. The Mustangs have held him short. I don't know the Rough Rider fans are clapping, but uh, no, he didn't get it. It's a gain of two. And there were a couple of Mustangs around that football to make the play. And Fort Morgan takes over at their own 43, 7.57 to go, second quarter. And now looking to claim the lead for the first time. And both teams have scored with a relatively short field. I mean, Roosevelt was really short. Morgan's was a little bit longer. All is turned over on downs. First down. J.P. Hamer approaching the 50-yard mark rushing in this first half. Good field position here. They need to take advantage of it. On the left hash mark, Linker from the pistol. Receives the snap, hands it off to Hamer. Back towards the middle as he started to his left. Across the 45 to the 48, he carried defenders. For a gain of five, second down, and five yards to go. The Roosevelt tackle was made by Giovanni Lara, a junior. And a quick snap, and that is Hamer again. To the 49 for a gain of one off left tackle. Close to the 50. Well, they'll give him two. Third down and three. Gain of a couple. Third and three Mustangs. See if it's four down territory with the Mustangs. The way their punting game is going. At midfield. Third down and three. Linker from the pistol formation. Barking out the signals. Now they look over towards the sideline. 
Receivers put left and right. Now he resets. Linker is going to keep it himself, and he's swallowed up. He is taken down at the line of scrimmage after the fake the Hamer. Nothing doing there. A couple of Rough Riders made the hit. It'll be fourth down and three. Garrett Padgett again right in on the hit. The freshman for Roosevelt, and the Mustangs will punt. And this is the right move. Let's play with a long field defensively if you're Fort Morgan. If you can execute. you got to get the snap. you got to get the snap. I mean, now Ortega is 14 yards behind his center. Let's see. That's nice. a great snap. Excellent snap. And that line drive, no turnover on that ball. And it's fielded on the run and nice. taken down as Nick Wall. He got it at about, uh, what, 15-yard line or 20, and then he's taken down just past that. Excellent open field tackle along that far sideline. And now Roosevelt's got it at their own 22. Yep. Dylan Woods on the tackle. Yep. Grabbed him by the shirt and pulled him down. Excellent play by Woods, and now Roosevelt is 78 yards away with 6.13 to go. It is homecoming night, so it extended halftime. And I wanted to stay in the elements, but Kevin and Brian went ahead to the truck to stay warm. <laughs> Actually, that was my idea. Okay, let me out myself. Yep. First and 10 from the 22-yard line. Man in motion. There's the give to Sanchez off right tackle, and he's got a two yards. Three number three, Devin Sanchez. Tackle. And Kale Langford Nick made the hit. Norris. Nick Norris Here around the football. One, it's only a gain of one. Second nine, down and nine at the 23. Trying some little well, motion here. They're bringing that. They're coming, bringing uh, coming, the coordination festivities back from the, uh, the to the center there. And hand it off, or could hand it off to the kid coming across. Well, let's see what happens here because they have two receivers put each side. They're going out of the pistol and a man in motion. And there is the shovel pass to Nick Wall running to his left, back towards the middle. And he's hit hard at the 27. Boy, he took a shot there. It's a gain of about four, though. But, yeah, he was taken down pretty aggressively there. Linker made the first hit for the Mustangs, along with Caden Edson. 66, Devin Gerken. Yeah, that was, that was, that was uh, Fort Morgan Roosevelt football right there on that tackle. Third down, they'll call it six of the 27. Devin Gerken having a good game on yeah. both sides of the ball. I've seen him doing some good things. Yeah, he's getting very physical. Trips to the right. Pistol formation. One receiver to the left. Third and six, 27. Looking to his left. Lofting it deep up the left side. The pass is incomplete. Oh, out there was uh, West. Brady Hartson's pass is incomplete. Ethan West oh, just over his outstretched hands. Defended by Dylan Woods at the 40-yard line of Fort Morgan. Fourth down and six. And Roosevelt will now have to punt. West, one of their leading receivers. I think he's got five for the year. And a touchdown. And Justin Potogil will stand at his own 13. I'm sure the Mustangs will back off now. Now the flag's almost limp. There's almost no breeze. And no pressure. And that's a gorgeous punt. That is sailing way over Moya's head. Takes a huge Roosevelt roll and goes out of bounds at the 13-yard line. That is a tremendous punt. 60 yards there. For Potogil, that changed the, yeah, the dynamic of this drive, line. Brian. Yeah, that flip field position, that's for sure. That was a beautiful punt. Yes. Fort Morgan was up about 20 yards from where it went on him and finally hit the ground. Yeah. First down, Mustang. And then it rolled out of bounds. Samoya couldn't even get to it and pick it up and get a few yards. Yeah, no, that was perfect. I mean, that's, that's video game stuff there. Right. First and 10 at the 13-yard line for the Mustangs. Deadlocked at seven. Roosevelt scored late in the first quarter on a 19-yard run by Devin Sanchez. And then less than 30 seconds later, Isaac Linker 20 yards away to Donovan Moya. Run the pistol formation. Hamer the lone setback at the 13-yard line. Two receivers to the left. Ernie Sandoval on the inside slot to the left. And rolling to his left is Linker. He's got protection. He's a deep up the left side, and the pass is incomplete. And that's going to be offensive pass interference, I believe. The Mustang receiver pushed off at the 50-yard line. Yeah. There's a flag on the play. And is that Moya out there again? And I think it is. Yeah, that was Moya. 
but he clearly pushed off on the defender and the ball fell short of the target anyway and I think Linker if he's going to throw that pass you got to get rid of it sooner because it's tough to chuck it that far running to your left even when you reset right need he wasn't open he should have just thrown that one out of bounds you know well I wonder if there's a secondary read there because he came he left the pocket and there, he was looking nowhere else no. and there, clearly he was well defended and there was no secondary target now, he was the only one out there First and 17, Fort Morgan. First and 17 turns into a seven-yard penalty, half the distance to the goal line on the offensive pass interference at the six-yard line. Man in motion to the right as Jacob Ortega has the pitch to the right. Stutter stepping. He's not going to get around defenders. He's going to be driven down at the five. Nice job of the official keeping the clock going there. It's a loss of one. It looked like it was open inside there, but he might not have been able to see that if he had just cut it up inside. But you're not going to get away with, with Stutter in the backfield with a with Roosevelt. Gavin Roton in on the play. Second down and 14 to go for Roosevelt at their own five-yard line. Two receivers put each side. Linker is standing in the end zone. He's a yard into the end zone. Now on the goal line. Has the snap. Back to throw. Pressure coming. He gets hit. The ball is loose. It's loose at the two-yard line. And let's see who's got the football. Roosevelt will have a first and goal if they recovered. But I think a Mustang offensive lineman fell on it. And they did. That might have been Yanez who fell on the football. I thought I saw, I saw that correctly. And 52's in there, either that or Hokanetto, but I thought either way the Mustangs have it at the two, but it was not a blindside hit. Linker never saw him. No, no Linker was looking off to his left, and the pressure did come from the right. The number 64 of that defensive end got in there. Wow. Now it is third down at about 22. Linker's halfway into the end zone. Let's see if Hamer is going to get the ball from the two. Hamer does, running to his right, back to the middle. He gets out of that mess, but gains only about three, maybe four yards towards the six. And again, Paget in on the hit. It'll be fourth down for Fort Morgan and 19 to go. And they want to let this clock run. If I'm Roosevelt, I take a timeout here. Yeah. yeah. Fort Morgan will have to punt from their own end zone. Deep in the end zone. Well, if you have a bad snap here, then Roosevelt's going to take a two point lead. Yep. You got to make sure this is a good snap. This is a huge snap coming up. And it's a low one, but Ortega's got it, and he boots it out of there. Nice job. Bounces at the 33, takes a Morgan roll. Fielded by Wall at the 42. Gets by a defender. No flag is down. Now a flag is down. The Priest was either blocked in the back or held down at the 30-yard line. So that return is going to come back, and Roosevelt will be on their own side of the field now, just on the other side of the 50 after the penalty. Yeah, it's a block in the back. And that block really didn't do any good. It, no. I mean, it really didn't spring him at all. And It was behind the play. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't want to be that kid at film day on Monday. Yeah. Yeah, that'll uh, set him up in their, own, in their end, of the end, uh, end of the field. Easy for me to say. So pretty good position with 2.15 left. Yep. See if they come out and want to throw some more or what they're up to. It'll be first down and 10 for the 47 yard line. We'll get an extended halftime tonight because it's homecoming. Trips to the right. Handoff, left side, breaking a tackle of Sanchez. He breaks a second one along the left sideline. And then he's knocked down inbounds at the 49. Nick Jared Norris made the play. Sanchez. But I think Kale Langford almost had him for a loss back there. It'll be second down and six to go. Inside of two minutes to go, second quarter. Deadlocked at seven in Johnstown. And yeah, they got to wrap up. Yeah, he's a tough runner. Yeah. From the 49, the Mustangs move. Two Mustangs move. Hokanet on Yanez. Got to watch the ball. They didn't. And that'll be offsides. And now it'll be a second down and a long one. Offsides. Mustangs. Football just shy of the 44-yard line at Fort Morgan. Second and one. Trips to the right. 
Handoff. First down. Breaking into the clear at the 30 along the left sideline. Down to the 22 is Devin Sanchez, but a flag is down. That might nullify a 22-yard run, and Brig Hartz and the quarterback knows it. And that flag was thrown right at the line of scrimmage. Well, 52 for Fort Morgan. He's got his helmet off. Like yeah, that's Giannis. Off. So maybe it was an offensive face mask or something. Yeah, there's a flag at the 40 and a flag at the 43. That's a hold against the Rough Riders. Back him up from the 43. I'd say so far each team's been their worst enemy. They've yeah. both done stuff to, to stop drives and to give things away to the other team. All right, so with a minute 42 to go. Seconds and 11, Rough Riders. Roosevelt backed up a bit. Second down and 11 yards to go at their own 46. they got to get to the Morgan 43. These are conditions that they may see the rest of the year, you know, this time of year. They've got to... Yeah, maybe not as damp, but certainly cold. Right. I don't see any moisture coming down by the lights. Oh, just barely, just a little bit. From the pistol, and there's the give right up the middle to Sanchez. He's got the left sideline to the 45, that he's down at the 43. He's got a first down, a gain of 11. Dylan Woods in on the hit for Fort Morgan. But again, it looked like if there was just a Mustang there, Sanchez had trouble getting out of the backfield, but once he gets loose, he's dangerous. Yeah, yeah there's some pretty good runners. It's hard to believe they're one and four, but as we said, they're, they're scheduled to start the year. It was... Was was uh, treacherous. Yeah, Pueblo East, Discovery Canyon, and Mead. They lost a Holy Family, a very good team by four. That beat Glenwood Springs for their first victory last week, sixteen to ten in overtime. Two receivers put each side in motion to the right as well. He's got a shovel pass running to his right. He's got a yard. Kale Langford was in that backfield, made the play, grabbed him around the ankles from behind. It's a gain of ball. Timeout. Roosevelt with sixty-six seconds to go. In the second quarter. Timeouts, and I think those first three games were on the road. Right. I think they had all three of those tough games on the road. Right. And they've had three in a row now at home. Right. Thank you. Well, we will be in Fort Morgan next week. Uh, from family physicians of Johnstown. And, and the week after. From Johnstown Banner Health. Northridge and Thompson Field Valley. Then a road game on Thursday, October 25th against Niwot. And then you still got, uh, and you still have Erie. First Friday, November, to close out the regular season. They're 6 0 and ranked number one right now in Class 3A. First down and 10. Go ahead, Brian. Second down and, uh, and nine, I should say. This, this is a game both teams need. Yes. You know, Fort Morgan is 4 and 1, but league is what's going to get you into the playoffs. Roosevelt might be throwing out of this formation. Two receivers put each other. Get a wall in motion to the right. Handoff. Sanchez up the gut inside the 40 three, to the 35. The gain of about six. Five, Third Norris. down. And two to go. Norris and Linker made the tackle right up to the line of scrimmage. 49 three, seconds three, to go. On third down. And three at the 35. Hartson. Behind a blocker, runs to his oh. left, Sanchez, first down, and then he fumbles the ball out of bounds, but there's a flag down to the 34. Three, three, and I think the Mustangs Sanchez are going to benefit from another yeah. Roosevelt penalty in the backfield. Yeah, as the defensive lineman tried to turn and run, uh, you can see the shirt stretch out about three, four feet. <laughs> It'd be hard to miss that hold. hold. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to see a shirt stretch three or four feet. That's got to be the most elastic shirt in the history of shirts. <laughs> okay, maybe 2.5. <laughs> <laughs> but I like that. I like that. No, but you know what? The reason I like the fact you said three or four feet, it creates the element of how blatant the hold was. How obvious it was. Right. If and you said two and a half feet, that's not obvious to me. Four and, feet is obvious. And and maybe points out the need for Fort Morgan to get snugger fitting jerseys so that it's harder to get a hold of. Another good point. Third down and 12 to go for Roosevelt at the 44, Fort Morgan. Back to throw is Hartson looking over the middle. The pass is incomplete behind the intended receiver at the 33. That is Ethan West. 
And Boy, defended over there by Woods and a Langford around the football. Fourth down. Let's see if they go for it. And Eddie DePriest came in and tackled the quarterback after he threw, and it was right on the edge. Right on the edge. Probably in the NFL it would have been a penalty. Yeah. Well, anything in the NFL is a penalty. Yeah, that's right. If you breathe on the quarterback, it's a penalty. That's what I was just thinking of. Breathing on the quarterback. Potagil to punt. Perfect snap. Light rush. There's no Mustang back. Kicks it out of bounds. Way out of bounds. They're going to give that. Uh, they're going to walk it up the sideline. And out of bounds at the 20. That's very hard to estimate, but I think that's a good estimation. First down, Mustangs. And I think Fort Morgan is going to be happy to run the clock out with 27.4 seconds. And go in with a tie after struggling like they have this first half. Yeah, I would just take a knee at this point. Yeah, they'll get the ball to start the second half. First and 10 at the 20. Just want to hold on to the ball. This will be a handoff, I would think, to Hamer. Linker hands it off to Hamer, up the middle, drives to the 22, corrals the football, is driven back. And that is going to be the end of the opening half in Johnstown with a score. Fort Morgan 7, Roosevelt 7 on B106 and B106.com. Fort Morgan 7, Roosevelt 7. With the third quarter approaching from Johnstown. Mustangs have to work this week to get the victory after last week's 51-3 win over Northfield. And with three minutes to go in the opening half of that game, they went to a running clock. Well, tonight they were down 7-0 on the 19-yard touchdown run from Devin Sanchez. And then... It turned out to be mainly a rainy first quarter. The Mustangs actually scored through the air. 20-yard touchdown pass from Linker to Donovan Moya on an excellent play by the receiver because it looked like that ball was going to be knocked away or intercepted. Brian and I, I mean, that's what we saw yeah. at that moment. Right. Yeah, I thought it was going to be intercepted. And I actually thought it was intercepted. When, right. it, when it came down to it, the ref said touchdown and... Okay. <laughs> yeah. You're closer to it than we are, so. And the funny thing, he said touchdown, and I didn't see Moya really possess that ball for very long at all. No. It's no, almost neither. like it was in and out of his hand. I think if that, if that's at the college or, or pro level, that's an incompletion. Yeah. Right. I mean, I, I mean yeah, that no. was a quick signal. Or an interception. Because or an interception, it, yes. As the ball continued to roll, I don't think it hit the ground, but, and the defender ended up with it. But when he hit the ground, which ends the play in the end zone, you know, possessing the ball, that's when he raised his hands, and then whatever happens after that. You know, there isn't those fancy rules like in the pros where you have to make two steps, a football move, and wave at your mom all for it to be a reception. So. i got to tell you, that whole football move is a bunch of garbage. I yes. don't get that at all. Yeah. A catch is a catch. What do you mean a football move? Yeah. Right. What, is it, what does that mean? I mean, I know what it means based on their uh, terminology, but... Why does that even come into play? Once well, you have the ball, that should be possession. Right. And what happens after that is just part of the game. But you can't tackle the guy once he possesses the ball. You have to wait for him to make that first you know, adjustment or whatever. And so they probably are trying to balance it, saying, you know, if the defender can't hit him to knock the ball free immediately, then we've got to give some leeway there for that hit to come in. I don't know. I agree with you. Let's uh, get the tutus off and get back to playing football. Although, I do have to say I respect the fact that they're trying to end head injuries. That's definitely uh, Oh, absolutely. Right. I mean, quality of life is very, very important. But at the same time, you can't take apart a sport piece by piece by piece right. and try to make it into something. It's not. Right. It's not a contact sport. It's a collision sport. Right. As opposed to other sports which can be contact oriented so well, anyway yeah at least out here tonight between uh roosevelt and fort morgan it's a collision sport yeah, they're, for sure. they're playing some tough football. yeah we had offsetting personal foul penalties at one point then we had a second personal foul thrown on the same play that went against the rough riders now fort morgan is going to receive the second half kickoff and we'll see if they keep it on the ground and you know the one thing I think with a Fort Morgan passing game? A shorter game. In other words, 
I've seen a lot of long passes this year. Now, a lot of them have gone for touchdowns last week Looks against Bryce. Well, they went for touchdowns. The, the, uh, the 31 yarder, I think, against Lutheran that went for a score up the left sideline. But I don't know if we've seen, Brian, a lot of a consistent short passing game. No, and I think that's what they need. You're looking like seven, eight yards, maybe just a, just a little dink and doink. That kind of a uh, offensive pass play is going on. Get down the field instead of... Welcome home, you know, get, RHS class of nineteen. Perfect example of that is uh, in the last game, trying to run out the clock when... Uh, uh, what's his name, Langford, threw the, his first completion, varsity completion for 10-yard. Just right. enough to get the first down and yeah. move the chains. And I get it. Shorter game, the field's a little <laughs> bit more congested, but, you know, you find the slot, you sit in the slot, you hit the guy right, uh, not even in stride, just sitting in that slot, in that seam, and you can move the ball down the field. I, again, I'm not saying you do that more often than not. For Morgan's a running team. Obviously, Roosevelt is a running team. But if the passing game is going to make a difference in the second half, I think the team that utilized that shorter passing game uh, could come up with a victory if that indeed happens to be one of the factors as the Rough Riders will now kick it off. J.P. Hamer and Jacob Ortega will receive for Fort Morgan standing just outside their own five-yard line. And to boot the football away... For Roosevelt is Brecken Sawyer, a sophomore. Runs up to the football line drive that's going to head out of bounds at the 23. Did he? He was approaching the ball and I heard the whistle blow. It kind of threw me off. I don't know if he was anticipating and blowing that whistle or, you know, to start the play or what the deal was. That I was almost think that strange. he, I think that he didn't realize that the head official hadn't blown the, the ready for play whistle. And uh, we'll take it out at the 35. Yep, First and 10 for the Mustangs at the 35 Long yard line. The 35 first As you mentioned, the long, the short passing game. Roosevelt's definitely respecting our long game. They're they're playing way off the ball, so that short game is going to be open. Receiver split left and right. Four yards behind center is Isaac Linker. Has a snap. Rolling to his left off the play action. Throws along the sideline. Complete. First down at the 46. Across the 50 to the 49. It's a gain of 16. And that is Donovan Moya along the sideline for Fort Morgan. And a perfectly thrown ball this by Isaac Linker. Three, Donovan Moya. It's kind of like they heard us talking at half. Well, a well-run pattern, too. I mean, that was executed. And oh, yeah. this can open up the running game. Oh, yeah. Definitely. First and 10 for the Mustangs at the 49. Linker turns and hands it off to Hamer. Stutter steps, and he's going to be taken down in the backfield for a loss of three yards in the play. At the 46, he had no shot. No, they didn't. Uh, they didn't keep that. Sustain that block on that right they side at all. And by the time he stepped back, step back a couple of steps, Cooper, and Walton. Roosevelt was right there. Loss on the play. It's actually Second a loss of about Mustangs. four. Second down and fourteen from the forty-seven. Mustangs now on their own side of the field. Again, receivers put each side. On second down, Isaac Linker will hand it off and running to his right to the 50s. J.P. Hamer along the sideline to the 35. He might go at the 20. Defender in pursuit at the 10 to the 5. Hamer scores. Touchdown as he broke a tackle at the 2-yard line. Hamer goes 53 yards and the Mustangs lead 13-7. to Yeah, that was a shocker. We've, you know, they've been stopping Hamer pretty good. And that time he ran it off tackle and then burst to the outside and there was no one there to stop him. This is not an, a big extra point. It's humongous. A minute nine into the second half for Jose Jimenez. Awaiting the snap off the hold of Isaac Linker. The Mustangs have scored 13 unanswered points and make it 14. 10.51 to go, third quarter. Fort Morgan, 14, Roosevelt, 7. This is Morgan County's B106 and B106.com. The Mustangs have taken the opening drive here in the second half. 
And J.P. Hamer broke a big one for 53 yards at a second and 14. And the Mustangs now lead by a score of 14 to 7. He managed to boot that football. Line drive fielded by Wall at the 5. Straight ahead to the 15 to the 20. He's still got running room and he's down at the 29. Return of 24 yards Wall. for Nick Wall. And now time for the Mustang defense to stymie this Roosevelt offense. Ball is spotted on the 30. First and 10. It's absolutely no lines. wind, no moisture coming down. It's a perfect fall evening for football. It actually is. Never would have thought that at the beginning. First and 10 with the ball just shy of the 30-yard line. And you know that Roosevelt's going to go to their bread and butter there in Sanchez and Wall. <laughs> Very balanced effort this season by both. Almost the same number of yards going into the game. At the 30-yard line, under center, the handoff to Wall running to his right. He's hitting the backfield and thrown for a... Well, they're going to get him back to the line of scrimmage. But that right side of the Mustang line was there to make the hit. No gain on Nick the play. Norris. Second down. Rose left up. defensive end made a big play. Second down. Well, we'll call it a long 10. Just shy of the 30. Three in the backfield. The first two are split. Then there's the deep back. And there is the handoff on the left side. And a loss. Devin Sanchez was stacked up at the 27. One of the Mustangs coming to play. And Nick Norris again with a penetration along with a couple of his teammates. Norris has had a nice night. Yeah, yeah, he's had a pretty good season, actually. But tonight he's uh, stepping up once again. At that time, they got a, a hand on him and tripped him up a little bit as he bounced to the outside, and he couldn't get going. Third down and 13 from the 27. Under center, receivers put each side, backs in an eye. This will be a handoff, and right up the gut, cross into 30 to the 33. That looks like Sanchez again. This time, he does gain about five yards. But not enough. Fourth down and eight to go. It's the Mustangs are there to make the play. And Poto chilled a punt for Roosevelt. Down by seven, approaching the nine minute, 10 second mark of the third. Roosevelt must really respect the Mustangs' pass defense because they're not even trying them. And here comes the rush and that low line drive. And it takes a bounce to Ortega at the 26 to the 30 yard line. Along the right sideline to the 35, a flag is down. And now he's tackled out of bounds at the 45 and that was an illegal block by Fort Morgan Returning and they're going to have the football probably back inside their 30 yard line yeah, 10 yards yeah, for a six, so it'll be about the 26 yard line yep. flag on the play well if we eat up another 5-6 minutes of the clock and score another touchdown that'll be a good plan that's exactly what it is so Fort Morgan Collins will have it in the back. Mustangs First and 10 at about their own 26-yard line, like Brian said. The Mustangs have taken the lead here early in the third on a 53-yard gallop by J.P. Hamer. Now at the 25-yard line. On the 25, Mustangs. Hamer's the deep back. Let's see if we can break another one. He showed a ton of breakaway speed there, just getting around one defender. Hand off to Hamer, trying for the left side this time. Across the 30 to the 40-yard line. Hamer into the secondary, across the 50. Then he spun around from behind at the 41-yard line. Might give him the 40. It's a gain of 35 for J.P. Hamer. First down, Fort Morgan, and Hamer's got 88 yards in his last two carries. And finally, they're getting that outside running game going a little bit, and... And, uh, First down, Mustangs. I'm happy to see that myself. Oh, yeah, you've yeah, been calling for it for, for weeks. First and 10 at the Roosevelt 40. High snap. Linker hands it off to Hamer, and he's hit hard and driven back at the 39. Great, number five, uh, that was a big time stick there by Garrett Padgett. And Copeland also in on the hit. Second down and nine to go for Fort Morgan. Second down, Mustangs. At the 39 of Roosevelt, up by seven. 
With 8.08 to go in the third. Linker from the pistol. Hamer to his left. Man in motion to the right is Ortega. And off to Hamer off the right side. And he's got some yardage towards the 36-yard line. Not much, but he gains three. Again, Padgett around the football for Roosevelt. Having a nice night as the freshman. Third down and six to go for Fort Morgan. Yeah, they sent uh, for Bud Ortega in motion back towards the huddle. And that's that one that play that Morgan scored on a number of games ago where Hamer just slipped that into the left flat. Should be four down territory unless the Mustangs lose tons of yardage here. Third down and six from the 36 of Roosevelt. Langford, the lone setback. Spinning to his left is Linker. Pressure coming backside. Throws along the sideline. Incomplete. Off the hands yeah, of the intended receiver. That might have been Dylan Woods. Fourth down and six to go. At the 36, you could really play field position here, but how much field position are you going to gain if you punt? You got to try and pick up that first down here. Put some pressure on Roosevelt. Ernie Sandoval on the inside slot to the right. Make it backfield now. Fourth down and a short six just inside the Roosevelt 36. Linker, three step drop, throws to his right. Oh. It's incomplete off the hands of Jacob Ortega on the slant. Linker Looked like it got him high in the right complete. shoulder pad. And when you try to catch it with your pads as opposed to your chest as opposed to your hands, that's what happens. And Fort Morgan turns it over on downs. It looked like a good throw. Yep. Oh, yeah, it, looked, it was a good throw. He throws a hard ball, though. Yeah, and it, I, yeah that was... You have to yeah. be ready for it. Yeah, it was a bullet. And I think Ortega's got the best hands on the team, but couldn't haul that one in. So now just... Shy the 36-yard line. Roosevelt looking for the game-tying drive. 7.03 remaining third quarter. Fort Morgan leads 14-7. On first down and 10. And there's the handle. Looks like a counter there. And a short gain of a yard to the 37. Starting to his left. One, Nick Wall. Back to his right is Wall. And again, the Mustangs there to Get a two seconds and eight meet the riders. running back there for... Roosevelt. Yeah, they've made the adjustments at half to, to bottle up this good running game. Second down and nine at the 37. At some point, they're going to have to pass. Under center is the quarterback, Hartz, and hands off right up the middle, and a gain of about three. Man, and that was big time. Sanchez was thrown down there. Yeah, but I also saw another Mustang. I saw Brian Paxton with a wrestling move just throwing Sanchez down to the turf third down and six like a rag doll yep third and six of the 40 play action Hartson rolls out to his right he's going to take off with a football along the sideline across the 40 and then he's tackled at the 44 right in front of the Fort Morgan bench a gain of four fourth down and two well, Carry number eight, Brady. Excellent play along the far sideline. Again, we couldn't spot that number so far away from where we're at. Fourth and one, Riders. And if they go for it here and miss it, Fort Morgan is going to have phenomenal field position. But I think at one and four, you have to show your line that you have faith in them. You have to have faith in your running game. But you're right, it's a crucial play. Well, they don't need any fancy plays here. The uh, handoff can get the job done because it's only fourth and two at the 44. Backs in an eye. Oh, and two Mustangs jump. Well, you can't fall for that trick. Yeah. Yep. That's the second time in the game that Fort Goal Morgan has been called offside when two players have jumped. Five yard penalty, Roosevelt Rough Rider, first down. First and ten at the 49. Clock running under five minutes to go in the third. Quarterback Hartson 
will hand it off, and here's Sanchez with a seam to the outside of the 45. Tackle around the ankles at the 44 by Caden Edson, but not before he picks up close to seven yards. Second down and three to go for Roosevelt. Gain of seven, second and three, Rough Riders. Yeah, it looked like he could have got a lot more, but they finally closed that off on the outside. On second down and three from the 43. Again, the backs remain in that eye. Hand off to the deep back wall, up the middle. Short of a first down as he backs his way to the 41. I don't know why this official is stopping the clock. I don't think he got to the sticks. That's a favorable yeah, spot. He's giving him a much better spot than yeah. the guy across yeah, the field. Towards the 40, that will be a first down. That's that a bad spot. First down. First and 10 at the 40. Roosevelt using up some time here on this possession. Two receivers out to the right, but you think they're just going to run the football. And now a flag is thrown in front of the Fort like Morgan sideline. Sideline warning, maybe? Yeah. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Sideline warning, Fort Morgan. 14 to 7 Mustangs. In the third, from the 40-yard line of Fort Morgan, under center, Hartson turns, hands it off to Sanchez, running off right tackle, and he is thrown down by Nick Norris, right at the line of scrimmage, lost maybe a quarter of a yard, second down, and a long 10 to go for Roosevelt. Yeah, Nick Norris is having a great game tonight. Nick Norris. Ethan West checking in for... Roosevelt with play instructions for his quarterback Hartson. On second down and a long 10 to go. Just shy of the Mustang 40 yard line. That's two receivers to the left. A run once again. A wall. It's going to spin to the 38 after stumbling at the 40. And thrown back down. Watch out. Some activity going on at the bottom of that pile. Third number one, Nick Wall. Third down. And about eight to go, Hokanetto made the tackle for Fort Morgan. Yeah, both of these teams carry the play to the very end. And, you know, and then it. some. Yeah. Third down and eight, four down territory for Roosevelt. Trips to the right. One receiver to the left, one set back from the pistol formation. Back to throw, deep drop, setting up a screen over the middle. It's caught by Walt at 35, a first down to the 25. And then he's tackled at the 19-yard line. That's a big play for Roosevelt. Yep. A gain of 19. And a first down, and the Rough Riders in the red zone as Hamer made the tackle for Fort Morgan. And that has been a play that has been Fort Morgan's bugaboo for a lot of years. A lot of teams have run that screen on them and had a lot of success. Boy, but you can see that that was going to happen because Morgan did not, did not uh, stay in their lanes here at the 17 now. Handoff along the left side and breaking a tackle of Sanchez, but then he's tackled out of bounds. Nice play, the penetration there by Linkert, Norris, and Edson. Langford also Isaac, around the ball. And let's see. I don't think he got back to the line of scrimmage. If he did, it's very little now. Second and 10, just shy of the 17-yard line. The big play in this quarter, the 53-yard run by Hamer, giving the Mustangs a seven-point lead. But Roosevelt is driving for the game-tying score. One setback, that's Sanchez. In motion to the right is Wall. Sanchez up the gut, and he is hit by a few Mustangs. Wow. Three or four. Paxton is in there. And also a huge hit by Fort Morgan's Isaiah Celestino. Third down and ten. He ran into a wall. They had a fake with some motion. Was that a play on words? I don't even know. Did Wall carry that, did he? Oh, yeah. I think it was. Yeah, third and ten at the 17. Trips to the right. Hartson will hand it off to Sanchez. Breaks the tackle to the 15 to the 10. First down to the 6. 
Oh, they had him back there. He gains a little bit. First and goal for the Rough Riders. Linker made the hit. They'll back it up to the seven, but still, and they're right up to the line of scrimmage. Mustang's got to get ready defensively with a minute 35 to go in the third. Out of the pistol formation, Hartson looking over toward the sideline. Now they'll settle back a little bit until the play is called. And do we have a Fort Morgan timeout? Yeah. We do. Timeout Mustangs. 83 seconds to go, third quarter. Fort Morgan is one more reminder to 50. It's called their first timeout. Actually, only had 10 players out there. So smart coach noticed that and called timeout before we played shorthand. Yep. Well, they got to figure out what to do now. Yeah, that play before that, when they got that first down, they, they had set and then they split that guy out to the right. They went out wide and that took Kamer out of the uh, middle of the defense, sent him out wide and opened up, took that middle linebacker out of there. They just made an excellent play two plays ago at the line of scrimmage and then again, how do you loosen up a defense? A little screen play. Yep. But then even there, you got a third and ten. Right. And uh, so actually... It's getting off the field on third down that has failed Fort Morgan on this Roosevelt possession. Right. Because a Fort Morgan player going off the side with ice on his shoulder. I didn't notice who that was. First and goal at the seven. Fort Morgan 14, Roosevelt 7. With a minute 23 to go in the third. Trips to the right, but more than likely... This football will be handed off to Devin Sanchez out of the pistol. Hearts and no looking to throw. Lofts it up the left side, but a flag is down, so no play. It'll be illegal procedure, a false All start stars. against Roosevelt. I think he's pointing to that number one out here. Yep. I think one knew it was going to him. He wanted to get a jump start on it. Well, that one is Nick Wall. Yep. Well, he's not used to lighting up over there either. No. So, sorry about that. A little tired. Need a cup of coffee? Yeah, but, uh, I never home. drank one. Ah. Keeping you up past your bedtime. Sorry about the. Oh, God, you're telling me. <laughs> First and goal at the 12. Nick Wall is the deep setback. He has the handoff, running back towards the middle at the 10, and then Paxton has him and throws him down at the 8. Gains four yards. Great Second and goal. Nick Wall, tackle 66, David Gurkin. Uh, Devin Gherkin, excuse me, made the hit. Inside of a minute to seven go, third to quarter. Seven. The Rep official Rice. mark is just shy of the seven. Three plays to gain seven yards for Roosevelt. Let's see the Mustangs can keep him out of the end zone. There's the handoff to Sanchez. Stutter steps right side. He might have got to the five, and that's it. Driven back. Langford and Gherkin. Making the hit. Terry, number three, Devin Third Sanchez. down and goal. He gained just a yard. And more than likely, this will be the final play of the third quarter. Yeah, if they get it off. Yeah, they'll get it off. They have to get it off. I think uh, they'll run out of time. I think if they don't, uh, don't get more than a couple yards, they're probably going to kick the field goal. At least I would at this point. Third down and goal at the sixth. Hartson hands it off, left side, wall. He drives to the end zone, and that is a touchdown for Roosevelt from six yards away from Nick Wall. Roosevelt has scored for the first time since the first quarter, and they draw to within a point. Fort Morgan 14, Roosevelt 13. Yeah, they've been able to get those yards right, the, right up the middle there. Right. Fort Morgan's not winning that battle of the lines the extra point is up and that's barely going to get over the crossbar but it's good stay right here four seconds remaining in the third quarter the score of your Roosevelt what you heard just four seconds left in this quarter Mustangs 14 six yard run there by Nick Wall both Wall and Sanchez have scored for Roosevelt. 
And gentlemen, we're in a battle now. Yep. Yep. That was also helped with an offsides on fourth down. Right. At their own 44-yard line. Yeah, those are probably the two key plays is the, the offsides and then that screen play that yep. got them out of a third and long. Yeah, that certainly killed them there. All right, now the kickoff. This will be the final play of the quarter. Headed towards the sideline. Fielded by Hamer at the 11. Back towards the middle at the 25 to the 30. Has the right sideline with one to beat. Breaks the tackle at the 50. A stutter step to the 40. Hamer to the 30. Defender at the 20. To the 10. Five. Touchdown, Hamer. Got a flag Jay at the 40. That's the kick key. 89 yards for J.P. Hamer. And the Mustangs now lead 20 to 14. Okay. Hamer has scored again. And I don't know why before they kicked that, well, actually, right as he caught it, my thought was, I remember when he was a freshman and he took one back. Never heard of the name J.P. Hamer. And he caught a, a varsity kickoff and took it all the way for a touchdown. So, great answer. Yeah. That is the final play, too, of the quarter. But we'll have the extra point. Hamer's got a 53-yard touchdown run in the quarter. And an 89-yard kickoff return. I think I had that at 89. I think he had it at the 11. Yep. The extra point by Jimenez. Now we got a flag down. Offsides. Roosevelt. Okay. No. Call is offsides. Roosevelt. Still be the extra point to be attempted by Jose Jimenez. He's two for two so far. And R Roosevelt jumped again. Yep. Today you might have to think about going for a offside for two rough riders. A quarterback sneak can almost get you in now. Yeah, so you're in. This has got to be tempting. Yeah. yeah. Because if Roosevelt scores, they might think about going for two to take the lead if they have that opportunity. But now Fort Morgan's going to elect to kick this extra point. Awaiting the snap. That was moving again. again. Come on. And that, they should yeah, they're, they're calling that on Fort Morgan uh, Yes. Now. Well, this is why you have the option there of going for two because it's only half the distance to the goal. But for Fort Morgan, now they got to go Ball starts. backwards. Mustangs. I think this is the longest third quarter to fourth quarter break that I've been involved in for a long time. To say the least. Let's just hope he makes the extra point. Yeah. This will now be a 23-yard extra point for Jimenez. There's the snap. There's the kick. Boy, he's got a thunder foot. Yeah. We have played three quarters in Johnstown. Yeah, Fort Morgan 21, Roosevelt 14 on B106 and B106.com. Let's begin the fourth quarter after J.P. Hamer's 89-yard punt return was the... Uh, or kickoff return, I should say. I said punt return, but 89 yards and a kickoff return. Touchback. And that one goes <laughs> into the end zone. spotted on the 20. Roosevelt, rough rider, first down. The second return of the year. Yep. The Roosevelt's got it. That's right, he had an 85-yarder. earlier this season as well first and ten man in motion to the left as well hand off to Sanchez right up the middle to the 25 he breaks a tackle across the 30 to the 35 a first down which grabbed around the ankles by Frankie Ortega but it's a gain of 15 Carry number three Devin Sanchez tackle 25. it's kind of a delayed action almost like a screen uh, draw that's a Roosevelt rough rider first down 
First and ten at the 35. For Roosevelt from the pistol formation with one set back. That's Sanchez. He's got the handoff, but he's going nowhere. Wow, what penetration there by Hokanedel. No gain. Second down and ten to go for Roosevelt. Hockendale. Well, they're, work, they're working on it. Not yeah. an easy one. That's one no. of the more enjoyable things about following Fort Morgan football is hearing the uh, visiting announcers try and handle uh, Oaknadel. On second down and 10 from the 35 yard line. And there's the give, and uh, I oh. think his knee was down. Knee yeah. should have been down. They're Sanchez calling. down at the 34 yard line. He slipped. Off the pistol formation, it's going to be a loss of one. Yeah, he was yeah. ruled down. Yeah. Carry number three, Devin Sanchez. Yeah, that's why he became Third open. Down, <laughs> Unlike that play a couple weeks ago at Fort Morgan where it was an inadvertent whistle, um, that one they actually saw him make contact and called him down, much to the chagrin of the Roosevelt faithful. Fort Morgan's problem on Roosevelt's previous possession was getting off the field. Right. Especially on third and long. We have another third and long. Third and 11 at the 34. Trips to the right. Out of the shotgun hearts and deep drop. Setting up a screen again. And it's going to be incomplete. Threw it out to his left towards Three Sanchez. Sanchez but no down. dice there at the 34 right. yard line. It's fourth and 11. And they've got a punt this deep in their own territory. So, And if you're Morgan. Run, run, and run. Yep. Steady dose of Hamer the Hammer. That's right. Poto Jill back to punt at his own 21-yard line. Perfect snap, no pressure. End over end, and backing up is Moya, and he lets it bounce, and it deflects on Moya, picks it up at the 17, breaks a tackle at the 30. He's got the right sideline to the 40 with two to beat, back to the inside of the 50, and then he's dragged down at the 46. It looked like it was a mistake initially, and then Moya with a tremendous return of 37 yards, and Morgan is in business in Roosevelt territory. You know, at half we were talking about how Fort Morgan, well, Ball both teams needed to get it going and how First special down. teams have been dicey for both. Well, Fort Morgan's special teams has really stepped it up this half and uh, has played great. First and 10 at the 45, 9.50 to go in the game. Be nice to take about three to four minutes of game time off, score a touchdown, and then force Roosevelt to throw on every play. From the pistol, Linker turns and hands it off to Hamer. He can't get out of the backfield. There was no blocking there. Nope. Thrown down at the 49, and he's lucky he even got back Standing that far. A loss of four. And nobody, and I mean nobody, blocked Connor Doucette. 30, Connor Doucette. Yeah, Ro Roosevelt's defensive line was in there almost as fast as Fort Morgan's was on that play. screenplay. Yeah. Second down, Mustang. Second down and 14 at the 49. Late entry there for Morgan. Ortega, the receiver to the right, or to the left, Moya to the right. Woods is in that slot. Hamer, the lone setback. Timeout. Oh, Fort Morgan's got to call their second timeout. Timeouts, Mustang. Well, it's not a big deal if you have the lead, which they do. Right. With 9.09 to go, fourth quarter. This is tied at seven at halftime. And you can't take them into the locker room with you after the game, coach. Well, they were needing on this. They Jeez. couldn't get their offensive. Yeah. They couldn't get their offense set. <laughs> yeah, right. They, exactly. Uh, yeah, they had personnel problems, and then they had uh, formation issues, which is kind of surprising because we really haven't seen that at all from Port Morgan all year. And maybe as they're trying to sub more people in and get more kids going, they're running some issues. But yeah, you're right. When it comes down to here about eight minutes from now and we're down by one and we need that timeout to you know, stop the clock. It's going to be you know, a bad deal. Yep. Well, when play resumes, the Mustangs will have a second down and 14 to go at the 49 of Roosevelt. In this half, a 53-yard run from J.P. Hamer and an 89-yard kickoff return following Roosevelt's touchdown from the pistol formation. 
Linker is going to hand it off to Hamer, running towards the right sideline at the 45. He's at the 40. First down, and he's taken out of bounds across the 30, and he was almost tackled late there, but uh, no flag. At the 28, maybe. Let's see where the official spot is for Hamer. Mustangs, first down. Hamer well over 100 yards just in this half alone as he picked up 88 on two plays. Whoa. And, some and more now words. a late flag. And there's flag on the play. And it looks like they're looking at Fort Morgan. And oh, Hamer again. Very possible. Where's the line of scrimmage? I mean, they haven't even set the ball down. They're back here at the 27-yard line, it looks like. And if that's Hamer second, then he would be done. Possibly, I don't know. I'm guessing well, that that's the rule. If that's a 27, it's a gain of 27. Well, again, discipline, 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 especially if you're in the lead on the road in a critical game for Fort Morgan. Trying to improve to 5-1. and one. The temperature is dropping in the 40s here in Johnstown. I don't know if something was said. Somebody pushed. I'm not sure what it was. Let's get the preliminary signal. Had another sideline one. Head ball bought foul. Sideline violation. Oh, sideline violation as opposed to the warning, and they already had their warning. So it's a gain of 27 for Hamer, but then you're going to go 15 back. That's probably because a lot of the players came down to... Well, actually, only uh, well, five back. I guess it was a 28. Okay, 26 yard for gain for Hamer, and then five back. So my bad there. First and 10 for the Mustangs at the 33-yard line. Hamer's had a big night approaching 200 yards. We don't have the official numbers on him, but we can tell you in this half alone... Hamer's run for about 130 some odd yards, and that obviously doesn't include the 89 yard kickoff return. In the meantime, Ty Davies is having a lengthy discussion with the two officials trying to figure out how, when our guy gets tackled out of bounds and our team you know, comes to help pick him up, that's a sideline violation. But I, my guess is he's going to lose the argument. I don't know. Hamer's still, act- he's still on the sideline. He's walks around like he's kind of dejected I, but I don't I mean it's not a foul that you get kicked out on or anything or yeah I'm thinking at this point I would have everybody stand behind the yard markers back there I mean why not just stand 10 yards back and, and not have to worry about it Kale Langford's alone setback mm-hmm. two receivers seven, put to the left First and 10 from the 33. Linker from the pistol. Linker will take the football himself. Back up the middle to the 30. Keeper number eight. Isaac Drag Linker. down around the ankles. It's a gain of three. Football fans, there is a Second down and Hyundai seven to go. Garrett Padgett made like the tackle for Roosevelt. Well, the owner, please move the vehicle. Again, that's a white Hyundai outside the gates blocking the driveway. Please move it. Yeah, take some time off this clock now. That's yeah, right. that's for sure. Yeah, Hamer back in there. Backfield. Second down and seven from the 30. JP time off the left side, driving to the 27 behind his left guard, and then he squeezed out another yard to the 26. Third down and three. He's hard to bring down, and there's been several plays where he's just stood his ground, and then the offensive line comes and helps push him a couple more yards mm-hmm. down the field. In this cold weather, maybe some defenders are getting tired on both sides, but Hamer's getting stronger. He just went out, though. Naked backfield. Third and three from the 26. Two receivers put out to each side. Cardona and Ortega to the right. Linker has the football, will run off the right side, first down to the 20. He stops, and then he's tackled right there, trying to cut it back inside. But Isaac Linker had enough for the first down, and the Mustangs are in the red zone, just inside the 20-yard line of Roosevelt, with 7.41 to go in the game. Fort Morgan leads Roosevelt 21-14. to And they wound the clock, but the clock operator is from Roosevelt, and he hasn't started it. So they got to notice that. Yeah. Come on. No one's noticing it. Come on. 
That's crazy. Well, the clock. I mean, how? Wind the, wind the clock. This would be there, no. there. Yeah, but he's, he's still, still not winding it. it. And the linker takes it himself, breaks the tackle to 19 along the sideline and down at the 50. What are they doing with that clock? I mean, come on. Gain of four. They might have given him a fifth yard, but they're going to backtrack it to the 15. Second down. That drives me insane. Yep. Yep. Second down and six of the 15. Tackle 26. I, mean, I don't care who's in the lead. That just do your job. It's one of the most important aspects of the game. Second down and Second six to go for the 15-yard line. And the play didn't even go out of bounds for crying out loud. Should have 20 seconds at least of game time, not more, should have gone off. Two receivers out to the left. Hamer, the lone setback from the 15. Linker hands it off to Hamer. Up the middle to the 10. And then he runs into a defender. Breaks that tackle. First and goal at the four. Maybe the three for J.P. Hamer. And this guy is running strong. A gain of about 13. First and goal, Fort Morgan. Three, number five. Now the, the cold, Hamer. ill wind has picked back up and is blowing in Fort Morgan's favor. Roosevelt's going to have to go into that stiff wind if they're going to try and First catch Yeah, you that's can hear it right six. through the microphone. First and goal at the four. We have six. Are you kidding? They're not rolling again? Why is the clock stopped? What? what is, well, the clock? What is going on? Roll the time. It's driving me. First and goal at the four. Handoff to Hamer. Stutter steps. He's not getting out of the backfield. He's going to lose a couple of yards. But they, I mean, the officials got to take note of that clock. I mean, that's bordering on cheating at this point. I mean, they have bought themselves a lot of time here. Right. Second down and goal at the six. Of course, a field goal is a possibility here to give Fort Morgan a two-possession lead. Yeah, you stop the clock for the first down, but it, it rolls immediately as soon as the referee winds that clock Linker hands it off to Hamer runs into a blocker and then he's getting back maybe to the line of scrimmage third, five, third down Tackle, oh boy Senior now the clock has been stopped now if we have an injury or somebody's getting up slowly there you got it yeah, there's a cramp third down Mustangs with an even six minutes to go, but it should have been probably five minutes to go. Yeah, pretty close. And I'm not even exaggerating. Fort Morgan leads 21 to 14. Yeah, Roosevelt's just selling out everybody that line of scrimmage to stop the run. Yeah, this wind is really picked up. All right, so it'll be third down and goal from the six. Now they should wind the clock immediately. Yep. Let's see what happens here. That clock should wind. There's there we go. Oh, started this time. A miracle. Woke up. Third and goal. Trips to the right. Linker is going to roll out to his right. Gets a block from Hamer. Looking to throw into the end zone. Caught. I believe he's got a touchdown, yes! In the front right corner of the end zone. It's a touchdown. Is complete. And wow. touchdown, Mustang. who called that ball? Was that Ortega? I couldn't see from here. Over there, who's right there? Uh, 20. Oh, there. I think it's Ortega. Yeah. yeah. I think Ortega caught it from, what do we have, that seven yards, six yards away. And the Mustangs now lead 27 to 14, Jimenez with the extra point. And the kick is out. There's a flag down. Yeah, what else is there? Yeah. Flag on the play. Taking more time with these point after touchdowns or anything else. Ball starts. Mustangs. Yep, that's exactly what it is. But Jacob Ortega with a six-yard touchdown catch. And what, what a great play that was. Yeah, Lincoln yeah. really jammed that into a tight spot there at the last minute. And that one was certainly not easy to catch either. No, I think 
he was probably going down. He just kind of cradled it into his gut and went down. Now the extra point to be attempted by Jimenez. Awaiting the snap. It'll be a 25-yard extra point. High snap, and it's blocked. 5.43 to go, fourth quarter. Fort Morgan 27, Roosevelt 14 on B106 and B106.com. John Beltran with Brian Nickel and Kevin Rohde. The Mustangs have scored 13 unanswered points in the fourth. And they lead the game 27 to 14. Ortega with a six yard touchdown catch. Line drive kickoff fielded at the eight yard line to the 20 is Nick Wall. And then he's tackled at the 27 by K.O. Langford. They, 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 they've got to. Uh, and a late flag. flag on the play. Yeah, they're going to get Ford Morgan for reciprocating. He had his helmet torn off by the other person, but they're pointing to Ford Morgan. So. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. Personal foul against the Mustangs. Again, just stay disciplined. you got five and a half minutes to go in the game. you got a 13-point lead. And I might be a little bit biased, but there's been several circumstances where I've seen some kind of cheapish last minute you know give a push like on the extra point that was blocked after he blocked it he reached up and grabbed the kicker and pulled him down Um, kind of borderline things like that and you just got to be man enough to walk away from that you can't get involved in that because you're going to get kicked out and hopefully we won't have too much of a problem next week but from the pistol at the 43 first and 10 for roosevelt trips to the left they're gonna have to be throwing on most of these plays Hartson out to his right, caught by West of the 43, tackle to the 46. Nice open field tackle by Dylan Woods, gain of three. Second down and seven, right up to the line of scrimmage is Roosevelt as the clock is running. Three every play as long as they stay in bounds. From the 46 yard line. The windiest and the coldest it's been all night. Hartson looking, throwing out over the middle. The pass is complete to Davis. But he's going to be tackled short of the first down at the 49-yard line, a gain of five in Fort Morgan territory. Third down and a long two. And again, now we're under five minutes to go. So, again, utilize a short passing game, keep them in bounds, and the Mustangs doing a nice job. Fourth, check it, third and a short three. Just inside... 50 handoff to Sanchez up the middle and he's going to be taken down short I believe are they going to stop that clock no short right at the stick a little bit shy of the stick and he fell backwards after they had him stopped and I mean he fell towards their their first round marker but didn't quite make it Nick Norris made another tackle just shy of the stick with four and a half to go in the game fourth down what a great time for stuffing them here so what okay yeah, I don't know why they stopped the clock. Is that what you're getting at, Brian? Yeah. It's fourth down and about a foot and a half. If even that, Hartson is going to be under center. Hartson turns, hands it off up the middle. That's a first down for Nick Wall. Carry number three, Devin Sanchez. Nope. The wall was right behind him. Sanchez for a gain of three at the 45. Rolling that clock. It started immediately. First down. It's at four minutes to go in this game. Fort Morgan leads 27 to 14. J.P. Hamer in the second half, a 53-yard scoring run, 89-yard kickoff return. Jacob Ortega with a six-yard catch. Donovan Moy had a 20-yard touchdown catch in the first quarter. Play action. Hartson rolls out to his right. Flush throws along the sideline. Complete. Out of bounds, and that is Holden Davis. It's a first down to the 34, gain of 11. That is a Roosevelt Rough Rider first down. Not getting any pressure on him on that play. No. Got all kinds of time to throw. Celestino complaining to the official that he was held, but it's not called, it's not holding. First and 10 of the Mustang, 34-yard line, 3.42 to go. Backs in an eye. Hartson hands it off to Wall. He runs into a blocker, and then he's taken down by Nick Norris for a a loss of about half a yard. He's second down and 10 at about the 34 and a half yard line. 
Yeah, he got stopped by his offensive line first, then Nick was right there to clean it up. Well, they're taking some time. Now we're under 3.10 to go in the game. On second down and 10, Hartson will hand it off and stutter stopping as Sanchez. A flag is down. He's got a first down at the 18-yard line. But it was a hold on, the play. on Roosevelt. And that's coming way back. Holding. And Lane Rossiker not happy about that. Oh. Maybe that's why he got that open hole so he could run through it. All right. AC Ice proudly supports local high school sports. AC Ice at any local grocery or convenience store near you. And of course, Brush Grocery Cart. Another fine sponsor of Oregon County Athletics. Well, that's way back. Second down and 20. At the Mustang 44. And the clock is running. 2.49 to go in the game. Fort Morgan leads by 13. Back to throw. Hartson pump fakes looking deep up the left sideline. Nobody's out there except Kate Nedson. And there was a receiver, but Edson was closer to the football. Third and 20. Riders. Oh, you got to make, you got two plays here. Yep. You make them. You pick up a first down. Roosevelt will use their timeouts, but you pick up the first down. You run out the clock. It's simple as that. And then... That would conclude the game. This is Morgan County's B106, KPRB. Rush Fort Morgan on what's turning out to be a frigid night now. It started out with a lot of rain. Third and 20 at the 44. Two receivers to the left. Hartson setting up a screen to the middle. The pass is going to be caught by Wall at the 43 along the right sideline, taken out of bounds. Over there by Ortega. Inside the 35. Let's see where the football's marked. Well short of the first down. Yeah. Took a lot of time off the clock, too. But he did get out of bounds and stop it. And he did pick up 13 yards. Fourth down and seven. Gain of 14. This will be it. Fourth and seven at the 31. Trips to the left. One receiver out to the right. And Fort Morgan might use their final timeout. They have. Mustangs. Final timeout used by the Mustangs. Fort Morgan vying for their fifth win of the year. Lone loss came to Thomas Jefferson. And I think this will come back as they look back at the season. This will be the game that gets them into the playoffs if they can stand up to the three teams that have you know, losing records the rest yep, of the way. I watch, well, I watch. Actually playing 500 football now. Yep. But uh, Thompson Valley and Northridge being the others. Fourth and seven from the 31. You got a hole in here. Yep. Had a fourth down earlier and jumped off sides. Yeah, good point because that's happened on more than one occasion. Here would just make it fourth and shorter, but right. still you don't want to give anything away to him. Fourth down and seven from the 31. Three receivers to the left, one to the right. Up. Oh. Are you kidding me? But I, I thought I saw a, a yep. lineman move yep. too, and they did. Yep. 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 The yep. lineman yep. move. 71 starts. Rough Riders. The right guard. Now it's third and 12 at the 30s. Fourth and 12 at the 36. Well, this makes it even. A more difficult play in terms of the yardage. And there was movement again on yep. the right side. This time the tackle. Yep, the right tackle move. Ball starts. Right now it's fourth right. and 17. Well, now you just got to be dead. No personal foul. Nothing yeah. crazy here. Yeah. They're at the 41. They got to get to the Mustang 24. Fourth and 16. Rose it up. Three receivers to the left. Four yards behind center is Hartson. Three-step drop. He's a deep up the right sideline. The pass is going to be caught 
at the five touchdown. You're kidding me. On fourth and 17, Ethan West beats Dylan Woods along the sideline and scores a flag is down. That might be defensive pass interference. It's a 41 yarder. And Roosevelt draws to within seven. It's 27 to 20. And now we're going to have to get that onside kick that they're sure to kick. And Yep. That is unreal. That's really... And Woods has had a really good game tonight, but that time he got beat. Well, there's a discussion as to what exactly the call is. Yeah, I think it's going to be defensive. <laughs> Seemed like it to me, but... Unless it was a push that we did not see. Boy, the stands will erupt if that's the case. Yeah. Oh, touchdown. Well, that has to be declined or accepted, doesn't it? That can't be, that won't be tacked on on the kickoff. Shouldn't. It looks like they're pointing like it's going to be on the that's, kickoff. That's what I was wondering. I thought you either had to accept it or decline it right. on that play. Extra point is coming up. He's explaining that to Coach Davies. I would imagine they know the rules. They're patched officials. Point after try coming up here. Well, let's hopefully it'll happen in this century. Yeah. To close to within six. Now they're going to talk to the coach. Gee, the come on. It's cold enough as it is. But again, you can't allow a play like that if you're Morgan. No. Fourth and 17. If you're going to interfere with them, tackle them and keep them yeah. from even getting to the ball. Just it wouldn't have not have been a first down. It would have been fourth and two at that point. Now the extra point is good. 2.31 to go in the game. Still anybody's game. Fort Morgan 27, Roosevelt 21. On B106 and B106.com. Now the Mustangs will have to recover an onside kick, you would think. And then pick up a first down and prevent Roosevelt from gaining possession of the football because of the pass interference. Roosevelt is going to kick this football off from the Fort Morgan 45. So if they recover, they're going to have great field position yeah. and could pull off a stunner. So the Mustangs basically have to do two things. Recover, pick up a first down, and you walk away with a win, and Roosevelt doesn't touch the ball again. 41-yard pass from Hartson to Ethan West on 4th and 17. 27-21. It's booted into the ground, and falling on it beautifully is Isaac Linker. They never kicked it hard enough to even go 10 yards. Well, and that's why Linker came up on the ball, because if it doesn't go 10 yards, the only way you can recover it is if a, the opposing team touches it. Right. Even before it goes 10. I'm surprised that they didn't block Linker, because that's usually the technique there, is that you just Ball's go block anyone from the other team out of the way. Down, Mustangs. I believe Roosevelt's got all their timeouts. First and 10 at the 38. Run game is big here, but it's a naked backfield for Fort Morgan. This tells me right now that Isaac Linker is going to take it himself. Linker will take it himself at this point. And he does off the right side. And he's going to be thrown down at the line of scrimmage. No gain. Timeout, Roosevelt. Tackle 64, Jace Molinar. Second down and 10 as Molinar makes the tackle for Roosevelt. I understand the safety of having the, your quarterback hold the ball, but why would you not? It's been pretty yeah. safe handing it to Hamer, and he's held the ball well, and he gives you your best chance to get yards. Yep. 
Yeah, because they had receivers split out all over the place. So still two timeouts remaining for Roosevelt. That's why you need that first down. Right now it's second down. And they might have marked that back a yard behind the line of scrimmage. Well, this is where about that 40 or 45 seconds that they did run off a little bit ago comes You're into right play. There. That's absolutely true. Yep. Second down and 11 at the 37. Hamer's now in the backfield. Hamer is the game breaker. One run is what you need. Everybody knows he's getting the football. No question about it. Linker hands it off to Hamer. Up the middle to the 40. Hamer drives to the 44. And he's still on his feet. And he's down at the 45. Timeout. Roosevelt, eight yards for Hamer. And now it's only a third down and about three to go. Yeah, yeah that's a big run. Three, three and a half. Third and oh. four. Mustangs. Now you just need the blocking here. And I think you do the same thing you just did straight up the gut. Right. You do that and that'll end this thing. Well, credit Roosevelt for hanging in there and making it a game. Well, the post-game show immediately following. I mean immediately following. Immediately. <laughs> not, not wasting before. time. Third down and three at the 45 of Fort Morgan. Two minutes and 13 seconds to go in the game. Fort Morgan 27, Roosevelt 21. The Rough Riders have one timeout remaining. J.P. Hamer to the left of Linker, who is in the pistol formation. From the 45, nine up at the box, handoff, Hamer right side. He runs into a defender, and he tries to squeeze out a first down. He's right at the stick. They're going to stop the clock. That was a lot of Hamer. He didn't have much room there. And they're going to have to measure. They're going to have to measure. I don't think it's that close. Oh, I think it's very close. You don't think it? It no. looks pretty close. I, I'm not sure he's got it, Kevin. No, he doesn't no. have it. That's what I'm saying. Oh, it's okay. Not even close. No, okay, my yeah. bad. They're, They're going to measure this. It's going to be a yard short. And no, no, no. You're right. Yeah. And it should have been 45 bad, yeah. seconds ran off. Right. The clock. I agree. Or they must use the other timeout. We'll right. see whether he stops the starts the clock. No, you're right. I just felt a raindrop. Let's see. Yeah. No, you're right. It's not close. I guess they want to know how far they've got to go. And I would say, well, it's not a full yard, but it's not far from the full yard. Probably about three quarters of a yard. Now it's Roosevelt going to take a timeout because the clock should roll. Yep. That's not a free timeout. You got to wind that clock. Let's go, buddy. What are you waiting on? Let's wait. Okay, now there's a timeout. Roosevelt's called it. You pick up the first down and the game is over. You got to go for it here. I mean, it's less than a yard. The football's resting at the 47 and a half yard line. Got to get to the 48. Clean snap here is important. This is where you go on three for the first time all game and get them to jump off sides. But you risk your own kids well, jumping. And I don't think we ever go on anything other than get one. I haven't seen us do anything other than he claps his hands and then he says like ready go and they go so I don't know maybe I you try that and then you call your own timeout if it doesn't work and then you run it they had John Elway calling the signals yeah. he could bark loud enough to get anyone yeah. to jump off sides I don't know if it's an option but Linker might take that snap and take off with the football himself yep. and he doesn't have the same momentum towards the line of scrimmage that Hamer would so they yeah, gotta make sure they call the right play here Fourth down and less than a yard. Half a yard to go. Just past the 47. 2.05 to go in the game. Roosevelt is out of timeouts. A Fort Morgan first down will give them the victory. Linker's under center. Linker, quarterback sneak, first down. 
He's across the 50. He actually picked up close to three yards, and this game will be over. Yep. With 2.01 to go, now they'll start the clock. Now yep, you got to start the Three clock. Seven. There you go. The, even the official was looking up at the clock. Yeah, just, I mean, take three knees. Yeah, yep. yeah there's no need to hand it off. Take three knees. Minute 42 to go. The clock is rolling. Linker will wait until it gets down to five seconds on the play clock for the back judge. First down and 10 at the 49 of Roosevelt. Linker has the snap. He's going to hand it off to Hamer across the left side. And he's tackled across the 45 to the 44. It's a gain of five. I guess they figured because it was still that amount of time that they had to have to would hand off. But now I think you go to victory formation. I, I still yeah. don't think you got to hand this off. you got two downs. I mean, there's no way. Especially with uh, Kale Langford, nothing against the Yeah, no, no, he's not, he's not going to take the ball. This should be victory formation. I don't see, but yeah, they're not in victory formation. I think this is Linker himself. There's no question about it. Second down and five for the 44. Linker will take the football, and he's going to be tackled right around the line of scrimmage, and he's squeezing it and corralling it. And now they'll go into victory formation. They'll have to run one more play. They might not. I don't know. It's going to be close. Good point. Oh. That's going to be it. Yep. The Fort Morgan Mustangs have defeated the Roosevelt Rough Riders 27-21 here in Johnstown. Mustang Post Game Show brought to you by Morgan Community College. They can make your dreams become a reality for both traditional and non-traditional students at morgancc.edu. The Mustangs beat the Rough Riders of Roosevelt 27-21. Roosevelt got on the board on Devin Sanchez's 19-yard run, making it 7 nothing. but back came the Mustangs late in the first quarter. 20-yard touchdown pass from Linker to Donovan Moya, and then Fort Morgan would take the lead in the third, a 53-yard run by Hamer, making it 14-13. Nick Wall came back on a 6-yard run for Roosevelt. That tied the game at 14, but on the ensuing kickoff, Hamer went 89 yards down the sideline. It was 21-14. And then Ortega in that fourth quarter, halfway through the fourth quarter with a six-yard touchdown catch. PAT was no good. It was 27-14. And then on fourth and 17, Hartson with a 41-yard toss to Ethan West. That closed out the scoring as the Mustangs improved to 5-1 and one, and Roosevelt falls to 1-5. and five. Mustang player of the game brought to you by TransWest, believing that customers are number one. Check out their selection online or just stop by one of their dealerships in Fort Morgan or Sterling today. And gentlemen, I think we're going to give uh, two awards out tonight. J.P. Hamer because of what he did on special teams and, and that big run. And uh, Nick Norris had a heck of a game. Yeah, Nick right. Norris was in on a bunch of tackles, a tackle for losses. So J.P. Hamer and Nick Norris, the Mustang players of the game, brought to you by Trans West. All right. We will be in Fort Morgan next Friday night when the Mustangs take on the Northridge Grizzlies. Outstanding job by our sound engineer, also our replay engineer, Emily Hernandez. For Brian Nickel and Kevin Rohde, I'm John Beltran. The final score tonight from Johnstown, Fort Morgan, 27, Roosevelt, 21. This is Mustang football, and it's been Mustang football on Morgan County's B106 and B106.com.